Tech Tuesday is not really about my inventions, but other people's inventions. Um, historical ideas about reed muting um, on harmonicas. Um, if you remember my last uh, Tech Tuesday talking about the rocker arm reed mute, that was an example of selectively muting, in that case, a particular single reed. So um, it would um, move out of the airstream and then others would sound and in order to get certain effects, in that case, particular kinds of bending on, um, on my slip slider harmonica. But if you look into the historical record of um, you know, harmonica design, since harmonicas, as we know them, first came about in the, you know, since about 1830-ish, there have been many, many different ways of um, selectively muting reeds and harmonicas. So in this video, I'm just going to give a, a quick rundown on, on a few of them. Well, one of the earliest ones was um, using your mouth to select between holes on the front of the harmonica. And these days, um, that's used in quite a few um, bass harmonicas. And uh, Tombo have also got a, a chromatic um, which uses that system. So the very first chromatic harmonica that we know of actually used a baffle flap system, very simple. It had no front mouthpiece. Um, you know, if you blew into the harmonica with, um, with no mechanism at all, the reeds on the bottom and the top would sound. But it had um, two baffles with a spring. So when the baffle flap on the top was raised, the top reeds sounded, but the bottom one, um, the, the flap was closed on them. The two baffles were linked together. So basically when you press the top baffle flap down, the, the bottom one would open and then the top reeds would close off and the bottom ones would open. So that um, idea didn't really um, catch on because partly what happened was as you're pressing the baffles down, it hits the reeds and makes a sort of clicking noise. Um, so anyway, it didn't um, really uh, um, last for long. But what really became um, common was the front slider system. Now we know of um, th this type, which is the, um, the straight tuned slider, but also you get the cross tuned slider and you get a whole bunch of different front slider types. I mean, I could do a whole Tech Tuesday on them or maybe several, <laughs> and there's, there's uh, many different ones. Another interesting way to selectively um, mute reeds, um, mostly for chromatic harmonicas, um, was to remove the front slider, but put sliders on the top and the bottom reed plates. And um, these would be linked by a button at the right hand side. When the button was out, say the top reeds would, would open through the top slider. And when you push the button, um, the top ones would close and the bottom ones would open. The reed plate slider system didn't really catch on historically either. But I still think it's got quite a bit of potential and um, I've been sort of developing it in different ways myself, which I'll talk about more in, a, in, a, in another Tech Tuesday. Another way of selectively muting and opening reeds on harmonicas is, is instead of having a, an air shifting slider on the front of the harmonica, to have it on the rear of the harmonica. And this is another little area that I've messed about with a bit. A very interesting chromatic harmonica that um, used the kind of idea of selecting the reeds at the rear of the harmonica didn't use a slider, it used a kind of a flap system. And this was the, um, the Japanese Mashino chromatic. And you can still find examples of these, um, you know, on eBay. So the Mashino used a rear flap, but just getting back to the idea of using a sliding system to selectively um, mute harmonica reeds, one very quirky um, different and very different um, take on it was um, by a, a really interesting Danish um, inventor called Finn Magnus. And instead of um, having a slider, moving slider on the front of the harmonica, he had a... Um, a stationary mouthpiece, and then the entire harmonica, the, the comb with the reed plates, slid inside the, um, the harmonica itself um, from side to side. And that's how the reeds were selected and muted. So here's a copy of his patent design for that harmonica. At the beginning, I talked about the most basic form of selecting reeds on harmonicas by just basically moving your mouth um, up and down, you know, as is done in the Tombow chromatic. And uh, fairly recently, in the last 20 years, um, uh, an American um, inventor called Vern Smith came up with um, the, his hands-free chromatic system. And that, basically what that does is it has a mouthpiece on the front, which is butting up against the, um, the comb, and the mouthpiece itself moves up and down. So your, your mouth stays on the mouthpiece, but you move the, the mouthpiece up and down. So that's Vern Smith's hands-free chromatic system. I hope, um, you know, seeing the variety of different ways there are to selectively mute uh, harmonica reeds has kind of uh, got your, um, 
you know, got your neurons buzzing. It's quite a really interesting um, area in its own right. And it's certainly one that's um, really um, occupied my thoughts over many years. And it stimulated me to develop two or three ways, some of them based upon these historical um, antecedents, but using modern materials and um, new ways of making things to de you know, develop things a bit further in these um, alternative ways to um, selectively mute harmonica reads. So I'll talk about them in some future Tech Tuesdays.